Hi guys, Janet here and it's morning. Just had my second cup of coffee and um, yesterday in the mail I got a set of Annie Sloan's new detail brushes and I have tons of brushes. I mean, I've got maybe six or seven containers like this of all kinds of brushes. I love artist brushes. So I had to get a set of hers to see if, uh, see if I liked them. So in the set, you got a flat brush. I do wish there was a number on them. Uh, most brushes have a number, so you know the size, like this is number 20. So that's probably a number 20 that looks the same. So that's a flat brush. I've got a little, very small round brush, and then I've got a fatter round brush. These are, have a nice point on them, which is really nice. And then there's a small flat brush. And I'm just gonna do a few little leaves and flowers just to show you how to, what you can do with these brushes. So I've got some watercolors, but I mean, acrylics, <clears throat> I love using them with Annie's paint too, that works really well, but I happen to have my watercolors here right now. So lots of different leaves you can do. You can, let me just start doing some of them. You wanna keep that chiseled edge, which is that nice, I don't know if you can see it, the nice point there, it's called a chiseled edge. See that? It's not fat and fluffy, which fat and fluffy is good, but that's good for something different. This helps you do nice, See that? Nice lines. Then you can take this brush, and even though you got that nice skinny line, if you put it on its side, look what you can do. A nice little, nice little leaf. And all I'm doing is, let me do another one here. A little stem, and I'm, I got this corner at that point, and I'm pushing down, and then when I pull it towards me and as I do it, I'm lifting up and getting back on the chiseled edge. And that's what gives you that little point. So you just keep going. You can add some little color there. So you can do leaves like that. You can do leaves like that. Now with watercolor, I can't put the center vein down because this is all too wet. I can come back later and do that. You can do a very simple, see I'm just getting smaller as I go, and then off to a tip. And then I can add some more dark at the base. Whoops, there we go. And that'll, that should spread on its own. Um, let's see, you can do, let's pick up a different color. Let's do turquoise. Again, using the same brush and the same technique, pushing down, pulling towards you, and then lifting up and bringing it back up on that chiseled edge. So push down and then pull towards me, bringing it back up on the chiseled edge. And I can do it away from me too. Just push down and then back up on the chiseled edge. And you can do strappy kind of leaves. You can make them really long. You know how tulip leaves are long and strappy? That would just be, let's see if you have a tulip stem, you would just come up, push, and then release. And there's your strappy tulip leaf. Um, this flat brush is also good for ribbon. And all ribbon is, is, Pretty much like that, but you're gonna do a little turning. So down, and then bring it up, flip it over, down again, and see, then it looks like ribbon. And you can come back in and darken the inside there where it turns. Let me add some water to that to smooth it out, there we go. So then you have kind of a turning ribbon look. Flowers, lots of easy flowers. Let's pick up some pink. Okay, 
really simple flower, and I think you've seen me do these on a few videos. Just take the flat brush and just do squiggles like that. That can be a half blossom. You can bring in a little darker color if you want. You can do a full blossom. Just go around the circle. You can leave the middle empty if you want. If you're going to put in a, you know, a yellow center or a black center, come back with a little bit darker to kind of give it some interest. So that's really easy. You can do, let's use a, let's use the round brush. Okay. Um, let's pick up uh, some red. It's got a little gold in it, so it's actually going to look a little peachy. Okay, so to do a, like a simple little rose, I'm just using the point and then I'm pushing down and kind of squiggling. Same thing, push down, little squiggle, push down, little squiggles, push down. There's really, I mean, not a wrong way to do it. And you can see as it builds, it's starting to look like a rose. And you can pretty much make it as big as you want. Just keep going. You can have a petal kind of coming out. You can bring in another color. I always like bringing in a little orange because that just looks really pretty. And then I like the center is darker. And I like the bottom a little darker. Right down in here. Now you can also take that rose and if you like it kind of bleedy, kind of uh, like a fantasy flower, just come back with some water and add water and it just bleeds it out and makes it kind of, I call them fantasy flowers, just really pretty and soft. Then you can pick up some of your green. Let's give it a little extra there. Remember that leaf I showed you over there? You can do it like that. Add some dark at the base for a little character. And it's okay, see this bleeding right here? That's okay. That actually is gonna, when it dries, it's gonna be, it's gonna add some interest. And uh, when you're working with watercolors, they are gonna dry lighter. I mean, you can see this flower over here, it's already dry, drying much lighter than when I first put it down. Um, so you can do a lot of different, a lot of different kind of flowers and leaves. Let's do another, do another leaf over here. Pushing down and then pulling up. That's what's going to give you your really nice shapes. So you can do little leaves like that. See, it's just a matter of pushing down, bringing it back up. Use that point. That point's there to help you work with it. Um, and keep the point. When I wash my brushes, I bring them back to a point, and I'll even sometimes take a little uh, dish soap and put a little on it, because when that dries, it kind of hardens, and it'll harden that to a nice point and keep it at a point. And then before you use it the next time, just rinse the soap out, and you're good to go. Never, ever store your brushes, you know, downward in a jar. Always store them, either lay them flat or, you know, keep them in a jar like this. 
and um, that's pretty much it. Now, if you want to make these darker or add darker highlights, you have to wait. See, this is still, it probably would bleed. Let's see if it'll bleed. If it's too wet, it's just going to blend out. You can add more color, it'll blend out. You can add more color, it'll blend out. It'll never really stay where you want it until you let it dry a little bit. And let's see if this is dry enough. Yeah, this is. See how it's not bleeding? So that's okay. So I can just add a little to the tips if I want. If I want it to bleed, I just add more water. And see how it bleeds if you add more water? Just make the flower bigger. So that's just some simple little leaf and flower techniques. So I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope you grab yourself some brushes and some paints, acrylic, oil, watercolor, whatever you like, and just play because playing is fun. So go play today, people. Have a great day. Bye-bye.